So it is September 17th and it is day two of Iowa's U season. Today we got our eight year old Havana with us. Uh, we're gonna head into a different spot and it's about a, a three quarter acre plot of clover. So we'll crawl up into that blind and hope to see if we can get it done for Havana today. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you gonna shoot a deer? Yeah. Where do you shoot him at? So before heading into the deer blind, we took a van over to where we target shoot a little bit, let her shoot the 1022, uh, re-familiarize herself with the normal scope or the crosshair scope because she shot a red dot, um, the vast majority of the shooting she's done. And then not only that, but um, she's done a lot with the 410. So trying to get her used to the squeeze of the trigger pull and all that and making sure that we have an unanticipated shot and that it surprises her just like that one did. Then if you've been around our channel, you obviously know that we have this tradition where our kids pick the shell, they give it a kiss for good luck, and that's our little ritual we do before we go in. Let's go before 
So in Iowa, youth tags are good for every other season, but Van doesn't shoot a vertical bow, and they can't use crossbows. So if we don't get it done now, it'd either have to be an early muzzle order, which I don't think is going to happen, or during regular gun season, um, which is in December. So we'll give it one more try here and see what we can make happen. Just after six o'clock, we just had a yearling come out. So Van decided she wanted to wait for a little bit. We got about an hour and a half left. So we'll see what else comes out. Nice job, girls. <laughs> that scared me even a little off, though. Yeah. Hey, what do you think your first deer? Really good. Really good. I shot my first buck. You what? I shot a buck. Oh, good job. Thanks. How are you doing? Did you have fun? Yeah. She That's dropped. Awesome. She dropped him in the field. Perfect. Great shot. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Very cool. All right. Well, we're gonna give him just a couple minutes here, and then we'll go. Uh, we'll get him. I'll send you some pictures. Sound good? Okay. Sounds good. That's awesome. Congrats. Right. Love you. Thank you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. So while we were celebrating and obviously not being quiet because it's Havana's first deer, I look over and catch movement out of the corner of my eye and see that there's actually two does getting ready to come out to the field. So I asked Van 
who has a doe tag in her pocket as well if she wants to fill her doe tag and she was all about it so we switched the gun over again got it out the right side window and you'll see how this all plays out so I actually have had a few people ask me too why we let the kids shoot the AR platform. So a couple things here. We actually unload it with one shell so there's not an excited trigger pull as an accident. And then not only that, but it's fully adjustable for our kids. I actually built this gun specifically for our kids to be able to shoot it. It's got a long eye relief scope on it. It's a 350 Legend, so it's a very minor kicking round. It's got a fully adjustable stock so that all the kids can shoot it because there's five of them so we don't have to make major changes between each kid and let's be honest myself and katie shooting it we all love shooting this gun it's very mild kicking it's very accurate and we have a lot of fun with it So the nice thing about filming is you have immediate ability to go back and look at the shot. You can see the shot is just a touch back, gets her through the liver. We know we're going to leave her lay for a little bit here. He's a good first deer, kiddo. Yeah. But he is heavy though. Yeah. We heard like, we heard like two uh, deer, I almost said dogs, <laughs> um, bellowing over here because it saw my deer dead. Mm -hmm. So I was looking more towards this way and like it, to see if there was deer coming through the middle part of corn and dad's spot, uh, a buck coming through where Peyton's ear came kind of from and so he was about like 50 or like label, 30 35 35 yards away and I was lucky to label um hit him and he didn't even run like a single bit he he just um came down then like three minutes later after I shot my buck. Um, we spotted two does. Um, one of them trotted off, but one of them stayed, and I was luckily to able to get it, but it wasn't right where I got the buck. So um, she kind of ran towards towards the trees, the cove of trees. So we're gonna have to go and find her in like 
two or three minutes, so. We'll probably give her a little longer than that. But <laughs> yeah. we looked at the footage and she's just a touch back on that one. So yeah. um, we're going to wait and give her a little bit of time then we'll go look for her. This was my first animal going hunting. So I'm really excited. It's your first ever animal you killed? Yeah, yep. it's the first animal I ever killed. Got really um, close on a turkey this spring. Yeah, I almost got a turkey. Your tags are filled for this year now, kid. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well... At the minimum, let's go, we'll go up and go get the truck. We'll walk out, go get the truck, and then we'll go look for her in a little bit, okay? Uh -huh. All right. Will you help me carry her, carry him? Yeah, we'll just leave him. We'll probably pull the truck right up to okay. him and get him in the back. So we'll get your tag marked up, get it put on him, and we'll go from there. We'll go look for that doe then. Sound good? Yeah. All right, good job, kiddo. Thanks. Yep. Second ever deer hunt and shot two on the same night. Mm -hmm. Now we just got to figure out where we can get out of that tour. Yeah. Push them all together. She found my doe and she was down in the woods though. She was about 30 yards away. The shot was pretty good, but I didn't make it um, like some, my buck. <laughs> good work. Hmm. This is your first and second year, isn't it? Yeah. In um, the same night. In the same night, yep. Pretty lucky, aren't you? Thank you, Dad and Katie, for taking care of the farm and taking me out. And thanks to Brian for letting us hunt here. Good job, kiddo. Thanks. All right, ready to get them loaded up and gutted and yeah. get headed home? Well, we're going to eat first, right? Yeah, we'll go get something to eat. Okay. Thanks for watching another episode of 107 Outdoors. If you guys would, hit like on that video, subscribe to our channel. It's free and helps support us. And drop a comment below and let us know what you thought.